game audio on. We did lose a little bit of progress, but not much. We're back down in Golden, which is where we were trying to be. Uh, what we did last time we were here was to head to the bottom of the pier and get this photo done. I didn't realize that the save game that we have is just before that. <laughs> game music, yay! Yep. So yeah, anyway, if this game crashes a couple of times in a row, like really, like every sort of like 10 to 15 minutes, um, I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm done with it for a while. But as I said, I, I don't think switching to a low intensity game will help, but I can at least try. Try and give you guys a full stream for once. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Uh, so yeah, I was playing Cultist Simulator um, while I was going through all these diagnostics. I decided to jump in with Cultist Simulator. I got it free on Prime, on, on Twitch Prime, ages ago, and I never picked it up yet. I think it was last month, actually, ages ago. Last month. It was one of the free games. And my god, that game sucked me in yesterday. I, it doesn't tell you anything. It gives you no tutorial, nothing. And then you've got to figure out how it works. Which is kind of the point. It's a game about figuring out the UI, how everything goes. Oh yeah, we need to talk to this guy as well. Turn in the stone. Hey, fellas, I'm just going to skip this because we've already done this. He's just like, hey, here's a bangle. Thanks for your you know, efforts going digging for shit for me. So yeah, I, I kind of feel like I want to show you guys that game, if nothing else. And if everything's fine today, then fine, maybe we'll play it Monday. Just for a bit of a laugh. Talk about impeccable timing. I know what this and yeah, there's only so much you can do. Well, what am I thinking? You want more ore. Bingo. I think we got a real good thing going here. Alright. He's given us a new quest to go get some stuff. Let's get this picture again. Uh, let me get this shot. Okay, we got what we needed. So the last time this game crashed, we were over there on the beach fighting giant crabs. That was for a bounty. So we're gonna go try that again. Clear that off one more time. I mean, you know, as well, yesterday when I was playing this game to myself, just trying different things, here's what I did. I didn't just run around in this little save game file. Oh, no, 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 no. I played the game for like five straight hours. Trying to get it done. Speaking of crabs and shrimp, I saw you were enjoying the cookbook. Yes. Probably has uh, more versions by now. Ooh, awesome. Yeah, I actually tried one of the recipes. I tried the uh, the chicken skewers with teriyaki and paprika. I thought, really? Paprika with the teriyaki sauce? Interesting. So I did those, and they were actually really good. And probably needed another base of teriyaki sauce while I was cooking them, but... Yeah, I liked them. I had them with the corn on the cob and some, a, a side of some veggies. But like other veggies. Corn on the cob is also a veggie. Yeah. And it was pretty good. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I played this game for such a long time while I'm testing. I, I did, like, I got in the car, because the game was crashing a lot in different places. It was crashing when we were trying to drive from there, up this road, and along here and down to here, because we'd never actually done that. And it crashed every time we tried to get, like, once we got out of this tunnel, it would crash. So I went back that way. Didn't crash. I drove all the way up to Hammerhead. Didn't crash. I thought, you know, desert biome, okay. And then, still, I drove it all the way across here to Lestalem. Didn't crash. Passing multiple monster spawns, the Disk of Corthus, into the big city, and then walked around the city for a while. Didn't crash. I drove all the way back over here and went back down to the falls. Didn't crash. Got in the car and drove all the way back down here. Didn't crash. Managed to go back this way. Didn't crash. It doesn't look like it now, because I've gone back to the original save file. You know, I didn't want all them extra game hours, but so many different art assets loading in one gameplay session didn't cause it to crash. <laughs> yes, Ignis is a good real life cook too, yes. So, you know, like you say, there's only so much you can do at the end of the day. When on stream on Tuesday it was crashing every sort of like half hour at most, or a few minutes when we were trying to get over the mountain pass. 
and then I couldn't replicate it. I could not duplicate that problem until yesterday morning. Time to go. Right. And then whatever right, I did you. fixed it again. So, but uh, I'll be really bummed out if we can't play this game because it's just too demanding and there's something wrong that I haven't figured out yet. I'm, I'm at the point now where it's like a, a full system restore. Might be in order. I'll go in first and stop them. You follow. I'm more of a Breaker target's appendage. Let's go. Hey. Okay. Hey game, can I please actually fight? Go for that one. Boom! Broken! Done. This should take long. This will be over in a flash. Interesting, every time I try to aerial attack these guys, they always bat me back down to the ground. Nothing to it. Shouldn't have to save the game every five seconds like some kind of paranoid idiot, but right now, yeah. Lost progress is demoralizing. Still don't quite get what's going on with that mechanic. Oh, no, 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 off. This is one observation I made, though. Oh, shit. While I'm streaming, and the computer's actually trying to stream, therefore it's encoding a stream, the performance of the game, ow, is so much lower than when I'm not running OBS and actively streaming. So, it still makes me think it's something to do with the graphics card, as the graphics card's encoding the stream. Like, what is causing this shit? Today he was watching a speed run of this game. Oh, really? Even outside of things to go fast, you can find out some cool things about how things work. So, this guy's not happy with me. Go away! You see, those micro stutters there that are happening, they only seem to happen while I'm streaming. So there is a problem. The game runs smoother than this when I'm not actively running a stream. It's really irritating. But anyway. Clearly need a catcher card. I mean, yeah, but... Then, what would I stream out with? I've only got this one PC that's capable of doing it. The only other PC I've got, well, I've got a laptop, which not up to the job. And I've got a little desktop here that's also not up to the job of actually streaming. Running the stream on those is going to be a no-no. So I could capture it off of one machine, run it to a second machine, sure. I might actually have no problems then. The color's amazing. But that's not a solution for me. But in case it is, I've got a little donation bar at the top. <laughs> For example, uh, in conversations, if you are nice, you get XP. Uh, if you're a jerk, you get AP. Really? Cool. Interesting. I didn't know there was a difference. I thought you just got nothing if you were a jerk. Hmm. Yep. An interesting difference. You can capture your own machine and offload the encoding. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Could be something to investigate when I do get this capture card, then. Because, yeah, I mean, I guess they have their own encoders, and all they do is just output a raw video format that you can uh, capture the source in uh, OBS. Man, that hurts. 
Hmm. Another headache. This is not. Give me something to think about there, Sam. And here we are. All right, we're gonna wait till nightfall because we've also got a goblin um, hunting quest here as well. Ones. If I really wish there was a quick save button. Hunt. Might still be depend, but yeah. Uh, the runner needs a certain number of uh, AP by the end of the game. Ah. Oh, is that like a criteria they set for themselves then? Speed run thing like, get to the end and have this much and do it quick. Right. I always wondered how people would speed, because I don't really watch a lot of speed running, but I always wondered how they would do it with a game like this where it's so vast, with so many different side things, and you're like, how do you speed run that? It's not like Mario, you know, where you're speed running. Or Binding of Isaac, where, where you've got a, a limited number of, like, locations you go to in sequence. I suppose if you set yourself goals of get to this goal before the end of the timer. Isn't it? Because getting uh, side sweeps uh, in fights doesn't work when you're running away from most enemies. <laughs> yeah. I see, yeah, the straight main story quest of the game took him about six hours. Yeah, this is actually still quite a big game story-wise. And I guess as well, if you don't win the fights associated with them so, straight away, where are we staying tonight? then you struggle Here to sort of meet your time these. criteria. Okay, where are these little beasties? Here yet. Will be. But yeah, I also tested these, like doing fights at night as well. Because this caused a lot of crashing at first. Which makes you wonder why I'm trying to do it now. Let's see. When they show up. You know what, actually, no. I am going to leave this one. This one is actually a higher level than we are anyway, so... Take forever. We'll come back for them. So we're going to stay in the little shitty trailer because I can't be bothered to spend all the money on the uh, on the fancy room. Seriously? There we go. Fifteen gil. That'll do me. That's all I need. Just a bed. Somewhere to sleep out of the rain. Striking a pose. Oh, that's a good one. Taking that. Hmm. I'm dead inside. Not bad. One more interesting thing, that Magitek armor that's in your equipment uh, has a time limit. It will protect you near perfectly, but you can't keep it forever. Oh, really? I noticed there was a charge was. limit to it. I wonder if then, if it's been used so many times, it, is, does it get, like, removed after that? Or or is the time limit based on, like, where you get through the story? Oh, God. Your photos or selfies. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. That is horrible prompter. I'm not saving that. Delete that immediately. Good morning. Hey. Morning. All right, so. What's the next quest we need to do? Um, oh, I think I need to go... I do need to go see Sid. Need to turn the beans back into that guy as well. Set that one. And then we'll also get our tipster stuff from him. 
Oh yeah, it's something like that. Ah, okay. Uh, they Time said it's All right. about uh, about 30 minutes that you can wear it. Oh, right. So you can wear it for a boss, then take it off. Right. Why am I driving? I keep doing that wrong. I want Ignis to drive. I'm not driving. I'm the prince. So? King spot? I'm ahead. Do not fast travel. Shall we then? Hit it, Specs. Ready for the music? We're on Final Fantasy V now. Although it skipped a couple that we haven't got yet. I think we got three and four. Oh no, we did get four. I don't think we got three though. Watching the speedrun made you thirsty for the story, though. <laughs> really hoping that yours works so you can enjoy it. Okay, thank you. And yeah, I do remember the story being pretty good. I'm interested to see if they've added anything new, because a lot of people criticise the delivery of the story being a little bit too sparse. It's like, nothing, 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 then here's, like, half the story, and then nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, and by half the story, I mean you're supposed to understand some of these characters immediately, like when Ravis shows up the first time. and. Anyone who's never watched Kingsglaive would be sat down going, Who the fuck is this dickhead? And why do these people seem to know him? And why are we supposed to feel he's significant? And then he's gone until the end of the game again. And it's like, what? So I wonder if they've added more context in. This <laughs> stuff happens. Yeah, that's another way of putting it. Want to talk about that stuff? Yes. Yeah, I think... It's because the problem is they had this open world feel from the very beginning. Whereas, well, I don't really know how other, the only other Final Fantasy I've ever played is Seven. The way their open world system worked, it still gated you off in ways. It was like, okay, you finally leave the town or oh, the city of Midgard. So, there you go, enjoy the world. But it's really just this section of the world. Because you can't get past that big snake, you don't have a chocobo. You're too, it's too strong for you to fight. So there's a natural barrier, and everywhere else is water. You don't have a boat. Eventually you get a boat, so you can go everywhere by boat. But there are some places where you can't go still, uh, because of like natural barriers in the landscape. You need the high wind to go over them, you know, the, uh, the airship. So once you get that, excellent. But then there's places in the mountains that you can't get to because you can't land the high wind. There. And you need the, uh, the buggy that goes over like rough terrain, or you need a chocobo that can. You know, they, it's like it opened up gradually. Here's the world, but bits of it are out of the way. Whereas here, they're like, no, here's the world. And here, it's big and open. Enjoy it. And then when you get to a certain point, they're like, now we're going to throw you into a linear progression of stages. You go here, then you go to the next place, then the next place, then the next place. And you never go back to. And it's kind of weird. It's like that was how it was meant to be designed. And then they threw the open world in when they redid the. Cause they did rewrite this game. They, um, they got part way through developing it, and they went back to the drawing board, rewrote it, and put out an entirely different story. But they left some of the legacy in. And it just kind of felt a bit mismatched. You know? I mean, you can see the clear signs of... There was clearly meant to be more in this game than there is. And at the same time, this clearly was designed later, this open world. And they haven't filled it with any the monsters. But together it still kind of works. I don't know. I always had mixed feelings about this game when I played it the first time. Once it gets into the linear stuff, that's when it gets deep story heavy. Here it's like, eh, you know, J-pop band uh, goes on road trip. Nothing too serious or emotionally taxing happens. Here and there perhaps, but for the most part it's fine. Great range of wares here. Paradise for a technophile like you. Right, so we'll go and turn these beans into this dude. There's more dangerous things prowling about these days. Oh, 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 oh hey. Good news. All my deliveries finally came in. That's great. 
beans are healthy and nutritious. What's not to like? I guess I could eat them if I had to. You want to hear a tip from an old pro? Forget their beans. Pretend they're little meatballs. Little meatballs. Well, okay. You try. I reckon y'all earn this reward. It'll make a fine meal. And be sure to kiss the cook for me. I'm kissing no cook. Nice to have a story that makes you want to go to certain places, even if you have a large world to explore. Yes. Makes you think of Final Fantasy XIV, though you can walk to other areas, even though the monsters are more dangerous. I've never played that, so yeah, I don't really know. I don't really watch a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. Might be able to dig up some recipes for you, old bean. <laughs> Very nice, Ignis. We know where to find what we need. Don't go looking for me. Yeah, Cygnus. Very clever, very droll. Alright, I want to speak to this dude as well. Because he has three machinery weapons. Anywho, show me the parts and I'll show you serious firepower. So we'll get some upgrade quests for those as well. There is a drama and a movie and a point in the story that someone uh, walked his character to a very remote and dangerous area. Everyone was like, what the fuck? How? But you can. Whoa. Really? Niff made cool. This time? Is there nothing you lot won't pick up? Anywho, show me the parts and I'll show you serious firepower. Okay, so... At a bio blaster, needed a cactile needle for the um, crossbow, the auto you bow. This time? Is there nothing you lot won't pick up? Anywho, show me the parts, and I'll show you serious firepower. This one needs a sky gemstone for the circular saw. Okay, we're still looking for that glass stone. I ran all around the town uh, that I was told to run around by one of the viewers before. All the way over here and I cannot find the gemstone anywhere that I'm supposed to find so it might not be there it might be in a different place I wonder if maybe you thought it was the old Listalem town yes in Final Fantasy 14 most of the um, uh, hedging uh, is done by the enemies instead of physical barriers ah that, see I like that I, I prefer that to Right, so the nearest Regalia mission we can't get to yet, that's blocked off. Uh, the Vesper Pool area is blocked off by the Nifs. The Van Interrupted. Uh, we need to go back to the Stalem and turn some of these in as well. To turn in Dave's quest. Turn that in. Wild Onions. Okay, we're close to that one. Over there is where... Um, What's his face wants us to go, Dino. We've got a couple of quests over that way. Right. Save because crashing happens. Wanna refuel? No, we don't. No, we don't. Stop it, game. App point. Uh, want to go this way. Ah, look at that parking spot. What's the forecast? Clear skies with the temperature rising. Nice. The moments like that, I just kind of want, you know, like Google Assistant and Siri and all that kind of stuff where you can just ask it something or Cortana on your. Um, the war is it's uh, on Microsoft's platform. I love a voice pack where it's Ignis's voice and it changes it to like what you respond to. I mean, you can with Cortana, you can change like what you want her to respond to. Um, but the others, I don't know if you can, I never played with them. And I'd just love a voice pack where you can just change it to Ignis's voice. <laughs> that would be really good. Uh, Ignis, what's the forecast today? Little news that the uh, symbol on the steering wheel. There's a little like a chocobo footprint. Really? Oh! <gasps> I didn't know 
What is that? A holy bow! Three months now! Have you been sub to me for three months? Thank you! Welcome back. I'm Falak, I see you there. I see you, sir. How are you? Good to see you. I did not notice that that was a little chocobo. On the steering wheel, a little chocobo foot. It is, it's like a bird foot. That is cool. Thank you for pointing that out, Amber. I would have never noticed. It's a crown, but totally a chocobo. Yeah, they've done like a bit of both. They're like, well, make the crown look a little bit like a chocobo foot. <laughs> Worth every penny? Oh, thank you, dude. Much appreciated. You're tired? Oh, sorry to hear that, dude. I'm, yeah, wary right now. <laughs> I'm hoping that today we just don't have any tech demons. I was saying to people earlier on, if we have a demon that just kills the stream again, what I'm going to do is, uh, if it happens several times in a row, I'm going to abandon this game for now, try a less graphically intensive game. I don't think that's the problem I've been having with the crashes, though. Uh, Tuesday's stream was just a disaster. So, yeah, that's been rather annoying. Uh, Final Fantasy Transport by Bird or Car? Yes. That's because you weren't there? Well, don't go anywhere then. How about that? Stick around. Be my good luck charm. Monsters. Creature crossing. Wow. Where do you think they're all going? That's pretty we cool. Can always follow them and find out. What week is finally over heading home? Awesome. Good stuff. But yeah, um, anyway, like I was saying, if the game crashes multiple times in a row, I don't think that it's necessarily the fact that we're playing a graphically intensive game that's causing the crashes, because this is the police crashed as well. And I remember Sleeping Dogs was crashing, this is the police one crashed, I mean, this is the police two was the one that was crashing uh, on Thursday, no, Tuesday. God, I'm, I'm stuck now. So we're going to try a different game out. I've got Cultist Simulator waiting to go in case this doesn't work, and if... You know, we don't get to it today, fine, I'm going to play it Monday, or maybe tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. So that's going to be fun. 